So one thing I forgot to mention while we were making this video, the first time I met Noah, he brought his car over to a Mods and Mayhem party. We were trying to take out, or take off your front bumper. Yes. Yeah, and um, we got stuck with one of the headlights and I basically broke his headlights. Well, I, I, you, were, you were trying to turn it one way and I didn't know which way it was to turn it. I'm like, oh, this guy's done it before. So I'll just let him do it. He's like, oh, this one's, this one's really, really tough. And then we hear this pop. And then James kind of goes quiet and says, I think I broke one of your headlights. I did, I did. It's I, okay. I, he's, he's been very gracious about it, like super gracious about it. <laughs> Welcome back guys, this is my friend Noah and this is his beautiful 997.2 C4S. Now this video is linked to a podcast that Noah and I and another friend Michael just made. So we're going to be talking about Noah's car in this, but in the podcast we're talking about ownership and what drove Noah, drove, no pun intended, pun intended, yeah. to, to buy this car. Uh, so Noah, tell us a little bit about your car. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks. So this is a 2009 Carrera 4S. Uh, it's a manual, has about 87,000 miles on it. Um, You're part of a high mileage club like me. I've got 90,000 on mine. Did you go 90,000 on this? Yeah. Holy cow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I've, I've got this with, uh, I think, about 78,000 on it about a year ago. Uh, about 2,000 that was driving back from Seattle. Um, it's mostly stock. I've got a DSC controller on it for the suspension. Um, I have some GMS headers and a Sharkworks X-pipe on it. And other than that, it's been mostly stock and uh, mostly great. Okay. Actually, I'll say everything great. So how was that drive back from Seattle? Um, it was interesting. Uh, it, was in, it was in December. Um, it was mostly good for the first part. And then we got a snowstorm in Wyoming, uh, which actually wasn't too bad, except for when you're trying to pass the semis. And you have that <laughs> median of slushy snow. Yeah. And you can't see anything because you've got all the snow being flown onto the car. And you've got to drive the car through the slushy media and hope there's no one coming and then gun it to get past them. And then in, and then in South Dakota, I hit, a, I hit about two miles of black ice. I'm just driving in the car. Everything's good, going about 75. And all of a sudden, the car just kicks to the side and starts sliding off the road. And luckily, I just kind of gripped it and held the car straight and kind of slid back on. And I, I got out, and the, it was just the two inches of solid ice. I couldn't stand up. I was holding onto my car to move around there. Oh, my um, goodness. But I made it home all in one piece. Everything was good. Uh, I had my winter tires on, so thankfully, that all worked out well. No dings, no, no scratches nope, from that No experience. dings, no scratches. That's great. So um, do you know anything about the specs of this car? I always get them wrong, or yes. at least a little bit off. So horsepower, torque, zero to 60? So I know the horsepower. The torque, I so I know it's 385 stock. Uh, the torque I don't know, and since I'm a stickler for numbers, I know it's going to be wrong, but I think it's somewhere around 315, but okay. I, I could be wrong, and I'll probably go back and realize that I was wrong <laughs> later. Um, zero to 60, I've seen ranges all over the place on these with the, the manual 4Ss. I've seen them as high as 4.4, 4.5, and I've seen them as low as 4.0. Yeah. Um, but, you know, something in the low 4-ish range, yeah. and I'm sure there's probably some magical person out there that's gotten it below 4 with yeah. the stock one, but that's that's not me I'm not destroying my clutch so in a recent video uh, Pat came over with his first generation 997 yes and we put it next to my 991 yes and uh, we talked a lot about the differences and so I think it'd be interesting to walk around your car and talk about the differences between this and the first generation 997 mm -hmm. I've definitely got um, a number of viewers that ask me about the first generation 997 over the second. Yeah, because a lot of your videos are on the first generation because that was what you had before this, right? Right, right. Yeah. And the second generation 997, there were fewer produced. 
yes. than the first generation. Yes. Partly because of the move to the 991, but also I think it had something to do with the, um, the, the, economy. the, the economy at the time, yeah. right? People it, just weren't wanting to put their money into exactly. cars Exactly. 2009 was not a, a robust financial year for people wanting to spend $100,000 plus on a little sports car. Right, right. So the second generation yeah. 997 came out in 2008. So it? It, in the year 2008 it was released, there are 2009 model years. Okay. Um, the headlights are about the same. Yep. Um, but they made um, a change. There's a facelift here, basically, right? Yes, a very slight facelift change. Uh, you can usually tell just away the, around the way the lights right here are designed. And then if you really want to get close to it, uh, you can see in here the front air vents um, in the 997.2s are all open. It's actually kind oh, of annoying because that's where you get all sorts of debris flying yeah. in through there, which is why I've got these little vent screens on here. But other than that, from the front end, it's not that easy to distinguish the difference between the two. Right, right. To me, I, I, can, I always look at yes. um, the shape of the, uh, the, the, the light here. But I didn't know that about the front vent. Now, yeah. the rear of the car is probably where the biggest difference is. Yes, the it, it, it is. It is. And it's, it's just one tiny subtle thing, but it's instantly recognizable. And exactly, the taillights have the tiny little upturn there. Yeah. Um, and that's... But they're LEDs as well. They are. They like are. The so when they're generation. on, that, that's true. So w when they're on, you can tell from the LEDs, but when they're not, you can tell from the tiny little notch there. Right. And you've got the light bar across the back because it's the four? Yes. So I, th I believe that the four and the four S have the light bar across the back there. Yeah. Uh, I think that's a, a throwback to maybe one of the earlier versions where they used to have that. Yeah, and then the, that's now been carried over into the 992. All of yes. the 992s have the light bar on the back. Yep, and, and the wider body as well. Right. Now, the, 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 the deck lid, the spoiler, that's pr basically exactly the same. First generation 997 has... Yes, I, bl I believe it is the same because when I've looked at different options for different deck lids, they've all been interchangeable for the 997.1 ah. and the .2s. Got you. Um, so and, unless the, a lot of websites are wrong, I, I believe they are interchangeable. No, I, I think that's right. I think that's right. And then you've got the, uh, the dual tailpipes at the back. Yes. Is that a personal choice or do you have the sports exhaust? Uh, no, so that was, uh, as I, when I got the car, they were like that. I believe, and, and I could be wrong, I think the S's have the dual pipes, okay. whereas the base models may not have. Yeah, um, my base just had the regular single pipe. Yeah, so I haven't seen any records of anyone swapping them out. When I actually remove them off to polish them up because they get pretty dirty, they are a Porsche part number on it, and I know on the build sheet, it does not. the car does not have the sports exhaust, so I, I, I don't have any record of anyone swapping them. Okay. So, I mean, that's pretty much it for the exterior. The, the, yeah. um, mm -hmm. the rest of the body is still exactly the same. Yep. The wheels are the same size. Yep. You have the same options available from the factory. Mm -hmm. And then it's the interior where they've made a couple of other tweaks as well. Exactly. It's Do you mind if I open the yeah, door? Yeah, absolutely. It's, the, it's really the interior and it's the drivetrain. Um, you know, the, the change in the engine to the DFI engine. Right. Um, you know, that was, that was a big one. Um, you know, got rid of some of the concerns about the IMS issues and yeah. some of, you know, reduced numbers of bore scoring issues. Yeah. So a lot around that. I believe there was a few changes they made to the all-wheel drive system on it. Oh, okay. Um, I've not heard of that. So I think there were some subtler changes, but really the, the dot two changes, it seems like what Porsche likes to do is the dot two change is not as much of an exterior change. It's more of an interior and mechanics change. Oh. And then that will translate over. So I think a lot of the actual mechanics of this car and your car is the first generation 991.1 are relatively similar, but the exteriors are drastically different. Got it, got it. Well, yeah, I know a lot of people want to um, pick the second generation just because of the, the peace of mind mm -hmm. um, for moving away from the dreaded IMS yes. issue, which affected you know, some people argue two yeah. or three percent of cars. Other people say as much as ten. Yep. Either way, if it happens to you, it's not a whole lot of fun. Yeah. And there is also a, a really nice power bump. I think the 997.1 SS are 355, and this is 385. Very nice. And I think the base models of of these was maybe 350. So a, a base 997.2 is making almost the same power as a 997.1 S. So right. there was a nice power bump too for people on them. So you and I were side by side a couple of weeks ago. Yes. And uh, I, I don't think you tore away from me, but you definitely beat me. So I, I have- I may have gotten a slight jump before you said go. You're being very <laughs> modest. <laughs> but you've got 385 and four wheel drive. Yes. I've got 350 as stock. Yes. With two wheel drive, mm -hmm. maybe a little, little extra with my sports exhaust, yeah. not much. 
when I get it tuned, I'm going to get another 20, maybe 25 out of it. Mm -hmm. um, with the headers, I might get another five or 10. Mm -hmm. So after I do my mods, these two should be pretty similar. And they then we can should, put, it, put well, them next to each other again. Well, there, there, there is one thing that will not be the same. You've got a really, really fancy computer shifting. <laughs> I've, got, I've got me shifting, so you might have the advantage on that one. Yeah. I was hoping you weren't going to notice that. <laughs> yeah, I have the PDK, hashtag PDK all day. You've got the manual. That's right. And the, I mean, the manual, it's, it's a ton of fun, and I love driving manual. My last three, four cars have been manuals, but... You know, I'm, I, I won't deny it. You know, if you're looking for pure performance, the PDK is going to be faster off the line. If you're driving on the track, the PDK is going to be better on the track for you. Um, but, I mean, for me, part of this car is fun. It's fun to drive. And if yeah. I have to give up 0.1 seconds or if I have to give up half a second on a lap time, yeah. I'm okay with that. Yeah. You know, if I want to do that much faster, I just get a bit faster of a car and become a better driver. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I do miss the manual transmission, but the first time I played around with that PDK, I just, it was like day and night. Yeah. I just went from being, I'm only going to drive manual cars to, oh my God, this is incredible. Yeah. And the PDK was introduced actually with the second gen 997. Exactly. Yeah. This, this car uh, was the first one to have the PDK. Yeah. Fancy. So you've had this car for a year. Do you think you're going to keep it for a while now? Um, I'd like to. Um, I've got a baby on the way coming in about uh, five months now. And so I'm currently searching for rear facing car seats that will fit in the back of this. We'll um, make it work for you. Well, we, it means we, that you got to keep the car. Ex yeah. So, um, th so that's, that's hope number one. Uh, hope number two is I end up moving and finding a three car garage and uh, this can move over to the side. Um, but yeah, I, I plan on keeping it for as, as long as I can. Yeah. That's beautiful. And by the way, do the guys know about the baby coming? Ah. Is this an auto amateur exclusive? Oh, this, 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 might be, this might be the big reveal. Guys, I don't know. Noah, he's going to be a dad. <laughs> Congratulations. We'll figure it out. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Well, thanks so much for coming on. Yeah, Let me take a look a at your car. Absolutely. Let's, uh, let's get out and take it for a spin. Sounds good. Awesome.